Alright guys, welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown video, and in today's video, I concocted a Pokemon Squid Game theme team at around 6am, because I thought that this was going to be a terrific idea, and the ideas that you have at 6am do tend to be terrific ideas. Um, whether or not this is one of them has yet to be seen, so basically all these mods are like kind of okay just kind of lightly revolve around uh squid game the tv show on netflix you should probably watch it but the team is pretty simple first off we have tentacruel named squid game because it's a squid playing a pokemon game i'm a genius i know uh holding black sludge clear body which doesn't allow anybody to lower their stats with rapid spin to get rid of hazards waterfall poison jab and knock off for running a physical set uh, based in HP and an increased in attack and just a tiny little bit of special defense. Next up we have Flygon, who's meant to hit things really hard by being match speed and max attack with Life Orb, Levitate, Dragon Claw, Fire Punch, First Impression Earthquake, who's the red light green light game and has a red move which is Fire Punch and a green move which is First Impression Bug Type move. And uh, because it's their first impression of the Squid Game where people actually die. I'm a genius, I know. Uh, next up we have Honeycomb, the Vespiquen with heavy duty boots in order to make sure we don't take half of our health away every time the opponent steps up rocks. Uh, with the ability pressure and string shot, defend order, roost and infestation to wear down your opponents and try to outstall them in case they bring in something to stall us. Uh, next up we have Tug of War, the Steelix. Who now that I think about it has absolutely nothing to do with Tug of War. I mean, he's kind of long like a rope, and maybe that's where my 6am brain was going with this. But, uh, you know. You know how it is. Uh, holding a Custat Berry with Sturdy Ability with Earthquake, Gyro Ball, Stealth Rock, and Rock Slide. And then we have uh, a Conkelder with a bunch of letters that stands for the pink dudes who kill people. Uh, as you probably saw in the thumbnails video, Conkelder is just the pink and he's a dude, and he kills things a lot. Uh, with the Flame Orb and Guts combo ability item set with Ice Punch, Strain Punch, Mock Punch for priority, and Knock Off to get rid of items. And then last but not least, we have Glass Pain, who is both a squid in the squid game, and kind of looks like they're made of glass, you know, the, the, you know the bit where they're jumping on the glass. Y you know, you know, everybody knows. Uh, with Expert Belt, Beast Boost, Power Gem, Psychic, Thunderbolt, Sludge Bomb, with max speed and max special attack to get rid of those threats. And that's the team. Uh, the team has changed a good bit in between me playing the games that I played testing it and the games that I'm about to show you now. Um, unlike my previous games, these ones have all been pre-recorded just for time's sake where I could just easily do this. And now we're on this screen where the battle already happened. Oh, I also used to have Reggie Drago on the team uh, as a marble. But now as I'm even saying that, like, A, Reggie Drago is just not good, and B, the reference is just not good. I'm so glad I replaced Reggie Drago with the pink dudes who kill people. But uh, let's just play the battle out here. So they flip turn. Going to Incineroar, who's going to lower my attack stats. I get to set up my self rocks, which I'm quite glad about. I'm okay with Steelix dying at this point. He's also very defensive. I didn't think Incineroar could kill me, but they go for Parting Shot into Slow King. And I think I had... No, I had Body Press on Steelix at this point, which does not do a lot, mind you. Then I try to go on Reggie Grego in order to get rid of this thing. They go for Light Screen. Dragon Energy does absolute doodly squat, because as I pretty much found out Reggie Drago is actually a physical attacker and has a special attacking uh, signature move which is not great. Oh, I also used to have Toxic Spikes on Tentacle but I eventually got rid of that because I realized I had way too many hazards. Uh, they go for Volt Switch but Steelix is a moon on that. They brought in Reggie Lucky a while ago. They tried to go for Volt Switch again which is a very interesting move but they let Reggie Lucky die and they go into Rotom. I think I let... No, I get rid of- oh, and I used to have Dragon Tail on Steelix too. Wow, this, this team really did change a lot. But, uh, they go back into Swampert because they're forced to from the Dragon Tail. I go into Squid Game, Squid Game dies. 
I, at that point, I think, I think Squid Game was, like, the least important mod to have, and I wanted to get a free switch in into uh, Reggie Drago, who does not get rid of the Swampert, mind you. Just kind of delays the inevitable. Everything's getting poisoned on the field. Um, I decided to go into Vespiquen here, because I know Vespiquen can try to stall out the Slowking, and then I decided to go back into Steelix for some reason. Yeah. Uh, Jirachi goes for Drain Punch. I get to go for Dragon Tail again. Get more Rocks damage on something. Uh, try and stall out that Light Screen. They go for Toxic, but uh, Reggie Drago is already Toxic. They go for a full Power Drinko Meteor, which still does absolutely nothing because Reggie Drago is not a special attacker, as I can't seem to ever figure out. Oh, we missed our second Draco Meteor, but it's not too important, I guess. Is it probably just heal it back with its leftovers or a time so I'm thinking that we're not in a great spot at this point we've got like four mons left you can pretty much just bring in Incineroar and Slow King and switch between the two and just kind of switch out forever but now we bring Flygon who can first impress with the Rotom does not get the kill sadly uh, Dark Pulse and I think I had a different item on Flygon at this point but Flygon's putting in the work, getting rid of the Rotom, getting rid of the Swampert, bringing things back, and then Cinnamore comes back in and gets the Crucial Intimidate off. Gets the Parting Shot off as well. Goes into Slowking. I think I went for Earthquake. No, I went for Tailwind. That's right, I used to have Tailwind on Flygon. Because it wasn't max speed. Uh, goes for Toxic Steel because it's immune to Toxic. I'm just trying to basically stack or sack Steelix at this point. But he's just not dying. And Sinor keeps coming in, taking that sweet, sweet rocks damage and poison damage. Uh, Flare Blitz. Steelix does still not die to the Flare Blitz. Which is impressive. That is impressive. That Sinor is still not dying, but it'll die to the rocks whenever it comes back in. Jirachi's coming in right now. Um, I switch into Nihi Lego. And I think... Oh. I just decided to bring in Honeycomb again. Uh, I get Ice Punched. I think at this point though I do have Roost, but we do get, oh no, I Destiny Bond, that's right. This team changed so much. It's so hard for me to commentate because I don't remember anything that's going on. Oh boy, I use Roost. At least that's still the same. Uh, Jirachi takes a little bit of Rocks damage, goes for Iron Head, probably gets a flinch here, yeah. That 60% chance to flinch with Iron Head is just crazy. It's either 40 or 60. It depends on whatever Iron Head flinch chases. Uh, we go for Fire Punch here. Jirachi gets the burn, but I don't think... Yeah, that's not really too important in the overall story. It just kind of negates the... Thing. Oh, I go for Body Press with Steelix. Cussed out Buried there. Gets Drain Punch. Only restores a little bit of health. And then I thinking that Nihiligo finishes things up here with a Thunderbolt after not getting Iron Headed. Yes, sir. We are up to 1.5 special attack, and they give up the battle. And I say GG's after they've already left. So that's the first battle. Um, definitely one of the earlier test battles, but it definitely shows off the power that this team has for people who bring straight up Regieleki, Swamper, Incineroar, 60% chance to flinch Jirachi, Rotom. So uh, yeah, next game. So this game, if I remember correctly, I think is not... The, the other person who's playing me is not as good as they possibly could be. Yeah, they lead Charizard here. I go into Tentacruel. Um, they go for Belly Drum Charizard, which is pretty interesting. Go for Blaze Kick, does about half my health. I go for Waterfall, they die. Tentacruel is pretty tanky, which is pretty nice. Uh, they bring in Jirachi. I do not want him to die, so I go into Steelix, who still has Dragon Tail at this point, I think. Yeah, no, but I decided to go for Stealth Rocks. Uh, they go for Earthquake, but I get off my Dragon Tail because I know that I'll have my Sturdy. Get a little bit of damage on this Umbreon. I think I go for Body Press. Now I went for Dragon Tail. Okay, I might not have had Body Press at this point. Or been thinking about Body Press. So Steelix finally dies, being just a little underneath the energy that can use the Custat Berry. Go for Psychic here. They go for Earth Power. Um, I think I have Assault Vest on Nihilego at this point. So we're taking very little quad effective damage 
to this Venusaur who might not be special attack invested question mark? I don't know, you'd think Earth Power from Venusaur would do a lot more. But at this point, Nihiligo just decides to start destroying things until he gets crit by Foul Play Umbreon. Uh, the Umbreon decides to protect for some reason at this point. Because that, you know, helps it somehow. Uh, we Power Gem, now we're at a plus two. And at this point, I'm thinking that, yeah, I should just sack Nihiligo because it did enough for the team. Bronzong comes in, which prompts me to bring in Conkelder, yes, and I think I go for Fire Punch, because I changed uh, Fire Punch to Knock Off, and it toxics me, which is, like, not terrible, because I still get my guts boost, but it's uh, going to stack up over time. Now, Flygun comes in here, I think, yeah, we take that pretty nicely, go for Drain Punch, get a lot of our energy back. And it's because of this moments like this where like I kind of need to kill the psychic type that I put on knockoff. This thing goes for power up punch for some reason, and then regrets it immediately. Uh, I think I just go for mock punch. No, it goes for power punch to finish me. And then I still have three mods in the back. Fly on easily kills this thing with earthquake, and that's the end of that battle. So uh, definitely some weird choices there and plays. Not sure why. I Earth Power Venusaur didn't do more, and Belly Drum Charizard is definitely an interesting play as well. But uh, overall, I think the team was pretty well handled for this situation. Uh, next game. Ooh, okay. I remember this game being a, looking at this team and immediately dreading what was about to come out. We've got a Legendary, an Ultra Beast, a, me a Legendary, an Umbreon, something that can put you to sleep. 100% of the time, and a Conkelder. This is not going to be fun with my B and my two squids. So let's see how this one plays out. They lead Conkelder and I lead Steelix, which is not the best thing for me, so I immediately go into Vespaquen. They go for knockoff, which knocks off my heavy duty boots. Conkelder is burned. They go for facade, which immediately kills Vespaquen, and I am not in a great position. I go into my own Conkelder, who has bulk up at this point, I guess. Uh, they knock off my flame orb, so I'm not getting my status, but because I have my bulk up, it doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, so my Conkelder beats their Conkelder. They realize this. They go to Latias. I predicted that. Used Ice Punch Latias out of the game. Uh, expect an electric attack coming in, so I go into Steelix. Makes them regret it. Um, Steelix gets the rocks while Conkelder is now on the field. They go for close combat, but I'm okay because I'm sturdy. And we get rid of Conkelder. So now they're two months down to my one. And I got my rocks up, which means I'm in a much better position. I decide to save the Custat Berry on Steelix for later whenever I'm going to need it. I bring in Flygon because I know Flygon can absolutely tear through Ledger Yalucky. And I kind of predicted a switch to either a Moongus or Crisel or Celesteela there with the Fire Punch because they would have been expecting a ground move coming. But they went out to Umbreon, which was not what I was expecting. Uh, I go into Conkelder in order to try to get rid of this thing. I think, yeah, Foul Play just a little bit too much. So, I'm not sure what happened there. They switched out to a Moongus and I switched out to Nihilego. So I guess I uh, use Psychic on Amoongus, then I use Thunderbolt on Celesteela, and that kills it. Because it's super effective. I said bring in the Reggie Lucky. I don't really feel this thing. They get a crit with Volt Switch. But I feel pretty good about going for Power Gem. That does a ton of damage to Amoongus, and I know that I outspeed this Amoongus because Amoongus is very slow. So now I'm at times two special attack. I decided to plug all of the damage that I can into this Umbreon to try and get rid of it. It goes for foul play. I'm not a physical attacker, so that doesn't do as much. They're getting their protects just to get that 8% of leftovers damage, uh, which actually does save them, but then they try to poison synchronize onto the thing. But then the poison kills them anyways, which I'm very glad it did. Uh, I don't think Regilicky can kill me here. Yeah, because I still have five mons left after all that, with two of them being ground types. So, uh, even if we hadn't gotten the poison with Umbreon there, I feel like we would have been still been in a pretty good spot to kill that thing. Uh, and we also exchanged GG's. 
So yeah, definitely some good predictions there led to a good victory, especially getting rid of that Latios very early with Conkeldor was a huge play. Because Latios kind of ruins this entire team except for Steelix, because Psychic, Psychic, Dragon, Psychic is a Vespaquin. <laughs> Uh, next game. Um, I don't remember a lot about this game, but definitely some interesting mods to pick here, being Chansey and Reggie Draco. So we're just gonna see how this one plays out. So they go Excadrill, I'm predicting the Excadrill lead Cyber and Conkelder. They get up the rocks, but I get my Drain Punch. They go down to Sash, but I have Mock Punch at this point, and I get my Burn. So now they're down in Excadrill and I might have my Kankelder sit in a very good spot. I'm gonna go for dual wing beat and I figure that Kankelder can live this. So I go for Ice Punch and it's a critical hit, Sash. Uh, I think I go for Mock Punch just to try and kill here. No, I gotta switch out to Steelix because I wanna prefer to preserve my Pokemon. Uh, they go to their own Kankelder. I take this time to get my own rocks up. Uh, they go for Knock Off, and I go for Dragon Tail to try and get rid of this thing. Bring in the Salamence maybe to kill it for whenever they try to switch out later to preserve a turn. I go for Dragon Tail Reggie Drago. That thing is gone. Salamence is dead. Uh, we are in Custap Berry position, which I wish I had Earthquake, but I had to switch into Flygon to use Earthquake. They go for Psy Shock. Um, they use Meteor Beam, which I don't think kills Flygon here yet, because it's a resisted hit. We go for Earthquake, that kills Niki Lego. Um, they bring in Reggie Drago, which I, yeah, outspeeds uh, Flygon, probably because it's Scarf, if I had to guess. Which makes me pretty safe to bring in Niki Lego here, because we're not taking too much damage. We can get the Psychic off in order to boost our special attack, and they bring in Chansey. Now I have to find a way through Chansey, so I just start sludge bombing it, obviously. They get the Thunder Wave and it lands. They go for Seismic Toss. And this might play out for a little bit here. Uh, eventually at some point I go up to Tentacruel, probably to get rid of my own rocks. With a quick rapid spin. And being a physical attacker, will be probably be doing more damage to Chansey. They go for the Paralyze again, which is fine. I go for Knock Off to get rid of this thing's Evil Light. That's right. Um, they just keep seismic tossing me, but because of my leftovers, I can only do so much, and I just have to keep soft boiling. Um, eventually, Waterfall should theoretically flinch, but I remember Waterfall just never ever flinching in battles, actually, though. I mean, it maybe flinched like 1 out of 10 times, but considering that it's a 1 out of 20, er, it's a 20% chance, it's, it's not great. Especially when you're using a Tentacruel to fight legendaries. You kind of want the RNG to be on your side as much as possible, or at least neutral. Um, yeah, Conkelder gets rid of Tentacruel here, who's kind of useless at this point, being paralyzed. Uh, I bring in Steelix, who dies. Okay. Uh, Vesper Queen comes in. Um, they switch out to Chansey, which is good for me, because I used Destiny Bond. Um, I get to use Infestation, so I keep Chansey in here. And now Chansey's gonna die eventually, because I can just keep roosting and Infestationing. Oh, and I had Toxic on Vespaquin at this point, which especially helps speed up the process. Um, Chansey just taking all that residual damage, which is nice. They go for Thunder Wave, land it again. Uh, I just keep going for Infestation. They are... yeah, they're dead now. So now all I need to do is have Vespaquin, Nihilego, and Conkelder beat this Conkelder, which is very doable. We get paralyzed anyways. I think I went for Destiny Bond on that turn, but it doesn't matter. We can just go into either Nihilego or Conkelder. Oh, I go into the, my Conkelder to Mach Punch, and we get off the Mach Punch first, and we kill their Conkelder. Um, we probably could have won just by using a second for Nihi Lego, but it's fine. Was Nihi Lego at full health at that point? Oh no, we were 41% and paralyzed. So we actually kind of needed that mock punch to kill or we were gonna lose. Next battle. Okay, so this one is actually the last one. Well, let me switch sides here. And I feel like something special happened during this battle. I mean, I picked it obviously because there's Aegislash, who's very annoying to deal with. We got Mandibuzz, who's just very tanky and also annoying to deal with. Two legendaries, a Swampert and a Heracross. 
So let's see how this one plays out. Okay, we start off with Latias who tricks Choice Scarf onto Steelix, which is not great, admittedly. Uh, I get to go into Flygon, Heracross gets their burn, I go for Fire Punch, which doesn't kill Heracross, but it is super effective. They get to go for Facade at least once, but then Heracross dies. Um, I decided to sack Flygon here to tell whether or not the Latias is faster, and it is. So then I go into Steelix in order to try to get rid of this thing, but they go into Tapu Bulu. I had Dragon Tailed here, and considering now that I'm Choice Scarf Dragon Tailed, I have to switch out of Steelix into Tentacruel. Horn Leech does way too much of my health to be natural, but they figured that Tentacruel is way faster and they don't feel like sacking it. Uh, they can see a safe switch in into Aegislash with the Steel Typing. I go for Knock Off, that does a good bit. I think they sword stance here, flash cannon. Nope, they shadow ball. Shadow ball, sorry. Uh, which doesn't do a crazy amount here. And then I know because they're a special attacker that I probably feel pretty safe switching into Nihi Lego here, who still has a salt vest. Pause. Darn darning game. Uh, even if I was could have been expecting a king shield there, the nice thing about Tentacle having clear body is that they can't lower our speed or our attack. Uh, even if we used a physical attack when they use King Shield. So, uh, Nihi Lego gets their free kill here pretty much. Flash Cannon's just gonna do about a third of our health. Yeah, Thunderbolt gets rid of this Aegislash. So now we're at uh, a good amount of special attack. Still, is gonna come back in to deal with this Latias. And then they're going to switch back in their top of Bulu in order to deal with Steelix. But I predict this and I think I go for Rock Slide to do as much as I can. Yeah. Uh, with that grassy terrain though, they're definitely healing a lot back up, and the top of Bulu also has leftovers. So, I go into Vespiquin, and use, they use Darkest Lariat, and then this is really depending on whether or not they have Stone Edge. They go for Sword Stance, not fearing my Vespiquin, and I go for Infestation. Probably kind of like an idiot. I know that Sword Stance, Darkest Lariat can't kill me from here. So I use String Shot, and then I miss String Shot. I miss a 95% accurate move. At this point, I'm thinking, all right, battle's over. Top of Bulu's got his two-time special attack buff. They still got Latios in the back, who can probably easily deal with Nihi Lego. Mandibuzz, Swamper, are both still at full health. Like this battle's basically over. Uh, so they go for Horn Leech, which easily kills Vespiquin. This is going to be their last turn of grassy terrain and that falls. So I go into Nihi Lego, hoping that Nihi Lego is faster than Tapu Bulu. And based on the way that they switch out here, it's very important that I assume that uh, they think Nihi Lego is automatically faster than Tapu Bulu, which will be very important here in a second. I go for Sludge Bomb, which I think poisons the Swampert? Yes. Uh, I do remember that correctly. So not wanting to immediately die, I decide to sack Squid Game. They miss high horsepower. Which doesn't really matter, they also, I mean, High Horsepower is also a 95% move, which they missed here. But I think Tentacruel gets off one Waterfall here, yeah, which is like a little bit of health. Um, they just get their High Horsepower off anyways. Um, I get to go into Glen Kelder, who gets to Mock Punch, which does, like, basically nothing without your Guts boost, as I almost forgot. They go for Yawn, which is kind of funny, because now I'm burned and that that's just not how being drowsy works. I guess they were hoping that I was uh, Sheer Forced or Iron Fist. Uh, but then they bring in Latias, so I'm forced to bring in Steelix here. And because I know that they always switch Top of Bulu here, I was smart enough to switch into Nihi Lego and predict that, being the aggressive play. And then I think I figure. I either figure that they're switching back into Latios or the Mandibuzz here, but I just use Sludge Bomb anyways. Uh, Mandibuzz doesn't take any rocks damage, because it's probably got heavy duty boots. I use Power Jam, Mandibuzz lives on 3%, which is super annoying, gets to knock off my Assault Vest, uh, but I get to kill the Mandibuzz and get my Beast Boost back. And they're gonna bring in the Latios, and I figure like, alright, basically I have to let them kill Nihi Lego. And then somehow, Kunkelder has to kill Tapu Bulu. So Latias goes for Psychic, and Nihi Lego lives the attack on 4% health, and then fires back with Power Gem and kills Latias. Which is incredible. This is 
like I did not realize how tanky Nihilego was to get to tank that kind of attack. We are faster than Tom Bubulu. We get to sludge bomb and kill for the win. So uh, yeah, that was five battles using the Squid Game team. Uh, I guess we go back here and kind of show off the bit. Whatever I'm talking, um, there was probably a bit at the start of this video where I talk about the animation that I have coming out on November 6th, so I figured I might as well talk about that again, just to make sure that I include it in the video. But, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, maybe consider leaving a like, and even consider subscribing, because both of those things help me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.